The Russian ambassador, Vasily Nebenzia, under pressure in the Security Council. Last year, Russia was one of two countries with Turkey that guaranteed Idlib as a safe zone. Now it stands accused of unleashing with its Syrian allies a campaign of bombardment on the province. Since late April, this escalation in violence has reportedly killed and injured over 100 civilians and further displaced 180,000. The aerial bombardment is alarming, including the use of barrel bombs on populated areas. With 18 medical facilities and 17 schools destroyed or damaged in just three weeks, there were even more powerful words from the UN's most senior humanitarian official. When I briefed you here on 18 September, I said a full-scale military onslaught could result in the worst humanitarian tragedy of the 21st century. Despite our warnings, our worst fears are now coming true. Mr Locock revealed the UN had shared the precise coordinates of humanitarian facilities with all warring parties so they wouldn't be hit. But the UK ambassador then asked if they'd actually been deliberately targeted as a result. Mr President, it would be absolutely grotesque if NGOs and health workers providing coordinates to a mechanism they believe is there to assure their safety were finding themselves being the authors of their own distraction because of deliberate targeting by the regime. When it was time for Russian Ambassador Nebenzia to speak, he accused the Council of double standards, ignoring civilian deaths during the US bombardment of the ISIL stronghold of Raqqa. But he denied his country's air force was currently targeting medical facilities. We categorically reject accusations of violating international humanitarian law. Neither the Syrian army nor the Russian space and air force is conducting hostilities against civilians or civilian infrastructure. Are you bombing hospitals in Id Idlib, Ambassador? No answer outside the chamber, but in his speech to the council, the Syrian ambassador Bashar al-Jafri said military operations were being carried out against what he said were terrorists. They were, he said, operations that will continue. It seems this meeting has failed to stop the devastating bombardment of Idlib. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, of the United Nations.